Namaste and a very happy new year. Dear children, today we are going to learn about Madhubani art which is a very famous Indian folk art from Bihar. It is also known as Mithila art. In Bihar there is a village known as Mithila. The people from Mithila village they take a cloth dip into cow dung with the multani mitti and they take a natural colors and then they draw birds animals flowers fishes leaves today we are also going to make madhubani art but before that i want to ask you do you know which is our national flower? Yes, absolutely right. Lotus is our national flower. So today we are going to draw lotus with the help of Madhubani art. Material you require for it, your drawing book and sketch pen. Now you have to follow some rules. First, whenever you are making a Madhubani art, the motive need double line. Second, you have to use all the bright colors like red, green, yellow, pink, blue and purple to fill inside it. The outline should be done with the black color. Are you ready? To explore this art come follow my step and we both will sit together and draw Madhubani art material you need paper pencil eraser scale sketch pen one CD marker first let's draw a border around your paper now to make a border we can use zigzag line first draw with the pencil once you are satisfied take a sketch pen and draw on over it it's important to draw a double line as i have already told you fill it with bright colors i am using red green and yellow you can take your own favorite color now i am filling the border with the sleeping line children here it is very important when you are using these lines to fill please touch the corner which is very important to make it neat always remember slow and steady will make your drawing very beautiful and neat once you finish the border let's draw lotus first take a pencil and draw one bracket and a semicircle now close the semicircle from the other side you can make a slanting line and then join it with one bracket again one more slanting line and join it from the other side similar same process you have to continue from the other side Here I am using sketch pen so that you can able to see it better. You can draw it with the pencil. Once, once you are satisfied, you can draw with the sketch pen. And the extra lines which is not required, you can erase with the eraser. Here I am making this circle for the lotus leaf if you want you can use 
bottle caps as a stencil remember double line around your motif now i am using green light and dark to color my leaf use different different line to decorate your motif in a madhubani art to fill inside you can use slanting and sleeping lines children when you are using a sketch pen don't forget to close the caps either your sketch pen will be dried very soon now let's draw a double line around the leaf i am using slanting lines to fill my leaves or to show the veins of the leaves now i am making double line around my lotus too while you are making a double line be slow if by mistake it touch the other line do not worry the rawness of a, of a art is all about forecast Are you enjoying playing with the lines? Yes, it is very easy and very interesting. Children, in a Madhubani art, it's very important to fill the background. So, if you want, you can make more leaves or more lotus. It's your drawing and it's your choice. I am making water background at the back to fill the background I am using wavy lines and plastic crayon because crayon on top of a plastic crayon I can use my sketch pen
to show the texture of a water i have used dash pattern and circle pattern to show my bubbles here if you want you can use small fishes also now let's have a look isn't it beautiful when you are coloring don't leave the space this is very important and do not scribble color in one direction wow i hope you also have done it well